Hi everybody, Pastor Daniel here with Ask the Pastor, episode 3, and today we are talking about spiritual gifts, and in particular the question is, how do we find our spiritual gifts? And so to answer this, uh, let's first discuss what a spiritual gift is and what it is not. Uh, so a spiritual gift isn't a, a skill or a talent that we are born with. It, it's not the ability to dunk a basketball or to play the violin, even though that's something we may wish we have. That's not what we're talking about uh, when we're talking about spiritual gifts. Uh, spiritual gifts are not things we are, are born with. It's abilities that are given to us by God in order for us to be able to work together to share God's love in the world. That's, after all, why we call them gifts, because they are given to us by God. And because they're given to us by God, there's no gift that is greater than one another. You know, we shouldn't look at somebody else's gift and be envious of it because our gift is just as important. All the gifts are, are needed to share God's love. And so as we think about these gifts, the question is, how do we discover our own? A good first step for that is uh, taking an inventory, a spiritual gifts inventory or assessment. Uh, we'll actually be doing this as a church in the future, uh, but if you want to get a jump on that, I'll share the, the link with that uh, here in this uh, segment, and you can uh, take one of these tests for yourself. What this test does, uh, it takes many of the uh, spiritual gifts that are found in the Bible. Uh, Paul, in many different parts of the Bible, talks about what these spiritual gifts are. It's not a complete list, uh, but it, it starts to point to us what our gifts could be. And by answering questions about ourselves and what we feel comfortable doing, we can start to figure out what our gifts may be. Uh, what it really reminds me of is uh, back in high school, I don't know if they're still doing this or not, um, but back in high school, when I was in high school, we had this assessment we had to take. And basically, we talked about ourselves, we talked about what we liked doing, our interests, uh, what we, we thought about in the future, and afterwards, it would tell us what career options may be of interest for us. Of course, we don't have to go into those careers, but it, it gives us something to, to think about. It's really the same thing that this assessment does. But what you get back does not mean that that is your spiritual gift, but it points you towards you know exploring that or understanding that this could be what it is. So that's a, a good first step, taking one of these inventories. A, a second step uh, is listening to what others say about you. Now, normally we tell you not to listen to what people say about you, uh, especially we're usually saying this in reference to gossip. You know, don't listen to the bad things that people are saying about you. But what I mean here is listen to the ways in which people are affirming you, uh, especially people in the church. If they're saying that you have a way with words, especially a way of talking about God, you might have a gift for prophecy or a gift for admin or for uh, teaching. If you have uh, or hear people talking to you about how you are so organized with all the things that you do or that you have a, a great way of bringing people together, you might have a gift of leadership or a gift of administration. You know, oftentimes people are able to see in us the things that we struggle to see in ourselves at first. I know that that was the case with me. In high school, there were people like uh, the pastor's wife and the associate pastor who saw in me many of the gifts that I didn't recognize that I had. And in fact, this was crucial for me uh, as I understood and explored my, my route into ordained ministry. But this affirmation is important for us all uh, in all of our understandings and roles in our life. So listen to what people are saying uh, and how they may be affirming you. And on the flip side, that means like if you see somebody uh, and if you see a gift that they have, affirm them because they may not actually see it in themselves. Tell them the gift that you see in them. Finally, uh, one of the last things and important things for us to do is to simply test out our gifts. And we don't really know the gifts we have until we use them. Uh, so if you think your gift may be in something like serving, then volunteer in the food pantry volunteer in opportunities at the church uh, that allow you to put this gift to use. If you think it may be in leadership or in administration, volunteer to be on, on council or on one of the committees of the church. You are not too young to do that. 
And we actually have uh, many youth that have been and are part of multiple committees that we have here exploring these gifts that they have. Uh, you may be exploring it and not even know. Uh, so, so test these things out. Uh, and as you do it, you ask yourself, uh, does this feel comfortable for me? Uh, am I hearing the affirmations from others? Uh, does this feel like a, a right place? Even if there is a learning curve, of course, it's always hard when you do something new, but does it feel right? And if not, try another area, try another gift until you find that place. The last thing I want to leave you with is it's great that you're asking these questions about spiritual gifts and that you're interested in it. But don't worry if you're not able to find out what your gift is just yet. Uh, there are many Christians of all ages that are still wrestling and trying to find out what their gift is. Uh, and so if you don't know what yours is, uh, you know, right now in your youth, that's okay. But it is important to at least try to, to find it. And, and these are some of the ways, the avenues you can do it uh, that I talked about. You know, take one of these assessments, listen to what people are saying, the affirmations, and to test it out. So that's spiritual gifts and some of the ways you can discover your own. Uh, if you have any other questions for me, uh, or if you want to kind of explore your own spiritual gift on a one-to-one uh, -one basis, feel free to reach out to me, pastor at roundhillumc.org. Any other questions for Ask the Pastor, whatever it may be, uh, you can reach out to me that way or write in the comments section. I look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless.